The defense tried to make its case through cross-examination, pointing out the accuser's inconsistencies in her testimony and text messages. Cross-examination focused on communication between defendant Michael Browning and his accuser. Certain emojis were used as sex codes. Emojis would signal what they did in between sexual encounters. They suggested what would take place during one and how ready they were for one. An invitation to stop by. One emoji message involved an erotic dream. The accuser explained to the mostly female jury, I told him what he wanted to hear. I didn't have a choice in the relationship. If I didn't answer the text, he would call. I had to tell him everything. Prosecutors contend Browning lured the woman into a consensual sexual relationship. He promised her a job, free housing at Gunpowder State Park. The alleged victim told the court when she refused to have sex, he would rape her. Defense attorney, he would come over when you didn't expect him? Accuser, yes. Defense attorney, he'd whistle as he walked down the hallway knowing he would have sex. And if he wasn't whistling, you knew he was going to force himself on you? Accuser, yes. Defense attorney, you have testified that you keep a loaded Glock on your nightstand with a bullet in the chamber. Did he have permission to come into your home and rape you? Why didn't you shoot him? Accuser, he was known to me. I didn't understand the rules of law. I was afraid I would get arrested for murder. I had no other option, no hope. I was depressed. I didn't care if I lived or died. The defense put hundreds of pages of text messages on a courtroom screen. Court testimony indicated Browning stocked the alleged victim's freezer in exchange for sex. But some of the messages appeared to depict a romantic relationship. The defense argued the accuser told people she was going to marry Browning. The defense characterized her as manipulative and a liar who was jealous that Browning wouldn't leave his wife, so she accused him of rape as revenge. The alleged victim told the court, she was programmed, conditioned over many years by Browning. I was going through the motions. I was terrified for my life. The happier I kept him, the less likely I'd be raped. Marrying him will be the only way out. I was trapped. The prosecution maintains it doesn't matter if there is a pre-existing relationship. Consent has to be an agreement, not a submission. Reporting from Circuit Court in Towson, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.